friendly gal. She's nice. She's very nice. Well, we made it to Kansas. We've talked ourselves up and we've bummed ourselves out before we even set foot on any land yet. <clears throat> There's a lot of crops out. We're not sure if we like that or we hate that. But I'm sure we'll have an opinion on it by next Wednesday. <laughs> We're hunting a chunk of public land that borders up next to a couple of managed farms. Hopefully nobody else has figured that out. But the old Onyx map system has made that a little easier these days. So the plan is to drive down there and what? We're gonna bail if there's one truck? Even okay. one even one truck. Yeah, if there's somebody sitting there, we'll go find something else. Okay. Yeah, we got a lot of spots marked, probably 20 or 30 different locations. We scouted quite a few last spring, so we're not we're not short on places to go and we're ready to bounce around. A lot of options. A lot of options. Today is going to be the warmest day. It's 61 out. Not much of a breeze from the looks of things. It's out of the north. It's going to pick up. And then tomorrow is going to be the highest winds we have to deal with, I think. 20 mile an hour gusting mm -hmm. to 30. So it should be interesting. My first time hunting Kansas. Greg's too. We just saw the hunting public boys are coming to Kansas somewhere. I hope we're not competing against them for spots, but... We did, we did see a couple of big bucks today already, though. What state, though, Greg? In Iowa. Yeah. <laughs> We're hunting Iowa next year, yep. so that, that doesn't help us. But it should be a fun journey to document and see how we do. I, I'm pretty confident. I think we'll we'll come out of here with uh, with at least one buck. spotted the very first piece of public that's huntable and he says we shouldn't stop and hunt it. scouted this spot last March and it's tucked up against private and I just knew it would be a good spot. You can see the private right here. And this is this guy's fence line. And luckily that doe, she was at, I think she was actually on um, public when I got here. And um, he was following her. I don't know if he was out here when I set up. But they were here when I came back. And when he came over, I spined him. I already walked up on him, obviously, but look at this thing. Absolutely incredible. I can't believe it. I am, I am speechless right now.
bought James and I hunted. I was tore up like you couldn't believe. And we hunted last night and this morning didn't see a deer. <clears throat> but if I did believe in deer sign again, I'd be really excited right now at this new spot. So we're running a gun and just jumping from place to place, staying mobile, trying to keep on fresh sign. We're typically uh, finding a new spot in the midday, hanging a set, hunting the evening, and then coming in for the following morning if the wind works out. And it's been working pretty good. It's getting us on new properties every day. <clears throat> so this one, private property over the ridge here. Um, this is all public, just a big long um, hardwood ridge with a, with a big river bottom on bottom uh, at the bottom there. And those deer just appear to be coming over this knob, pinching between the river and this, this ridge here and uh, boom from south to north, north to south. So um, it looks good, there's a lot of sign places tore up, a lot of rubs, a lot of scrapes. Like I say, if I believed in deer sign anymore, I'd be excited, but I don't, so I'm not. Done in Kansas. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> so, so that doe's that doe's right here, and I know he was gonna come up to the doe. Then he came to that on that that old water over there. Yeah. And I'm like, that's 26. Oh, so weird that was. I'm like, this is right there, broadside of 26. I'm, I'm taking it. I could not. I could not see him. So you go shooter, shooter. I'm gonna shoot this buck. Yeah. and looking and looking I'm like where I don't see anything and finally my eyes caught him I'm like oh crap he's perfect though. he's gonna be low so he'll be right where you need him he's a good buck dude <laughs> tagged out in Kansas we're tagged out 2019 November Kansas 2019 <laughs> let's go get him let's talk about the setup okay. for a second okay so uh, public land we right, ne the, right next to private again. Yep, we were at the... Like there's the corner post and the sign. Okay. I think I filmed it earlier. We are at the far south end. As far south as we can get on this public. And uh, private is right there. Just over this ridge is a standing cornfield. We found out when we got up in the tree. We knew there was crop there, but we, we figured it was probably picked or something. It was standing. 
and right here between the where this uh, bridge breaks and the water, there's the travel way, and there's kind of a little uh, bench right there. And earlier, a spike came through, and then we knew it was good. There's sign all over here, and uh, I now have faith in deer sign again. I didn't for a while, but I do now. Here come a doe, just uh, you know, starting to lose light a little bit. And, um, I look behind, there's a good sized body. And then I saw there's a shooter. I just told James, hey, there's, there's, there's one behind her. It's a shooter, I'm shooting it, James. So the doe came up here and was kind of milling around. I knew we were good because neither the doe nor he was on us at all. And he kind of stayed back down there on that logging road, which is part of that bench that I was talking about. And he was just messing. I knew he was going to come up there, but I'm like, I got the 25 or yard shot at broadside. I, I'm just going to take because my luck, something weird will happen. Go so, get him. Go get him. Down in Kansas and we'll be celebrating tonight. <laughs> <laughs>